in shock to see him in the video and to recognize him with his mouth wide open. Tell me about that moment. Exactly where were you when you saw the video and what went through your mind when you saw him and recognized him? Well, we uh, suspended him a couple of weeks ago for missing a Monday and coming late on a Tuesday. And he was suspended with full pay, but he never came back. And we wondered what happened to him. And one of these friends uh, brought a video into the office and told us that Brighton had died. And I love my employees. We've got 50 guys here. And to know that one of them had died, I was shocked. And when I went to look at the video, and I saw him lying in the coffin, and I saw his mouth moving, I said, he's not dead. And then we... We saw him breathing, and then we saw him come to life, and those eyes looking all around, it was crazy. So, uh, it, it, was, it was really, it was a big joke. Yeah. And, uh, Tell me, um, I understand, of course, um, he was quite uh, 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 an avid uh, believer in this pastor, in the church, um, very religious. Uh, uh, he was a member, according to what you know. He was a member, and they all talk about believing in the things and all that, but I believe his sister and his aunt and another family member are in the church. And he, from what I hear from my staff, he was trying to get people to come and do the act with him. So I believe he has done a stunt in the wheelchair where he got up and he walked away. And he tried to, what do you say, solicit some of the people that work for me to come and do the shows with him. So it's, it's an ongoing thing. So it seems that it was almost a, a part-time job, this kind of work for him. I think so. I think that would, that's why he was here, to get the guys to go with him, to go and, uh, to go and act up on the thing. All right. So you say you haven't seen Brighton since around the 4th of February. Yeah. Would you like to have him back? I wouldn't mind. Yeah. It'll be a new guy. It won't be the old guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. All right. Just also lastly, did he give you any problems? Did he seem like uh, someone who's strange? I mean, what, what kind of a personality did he have? He had a very egotistical personality. So if you made a mistake and you screamed at him, he would throw a lip for about, you know, a couple of hours and it would be difficult to get him to understand that you only make, the only way you learn is by making mistakes. So I think this mistake of him in the coffin, I hope he learns a lot that God won't be happy with him, eh? Yeah. And lastly, um, how have your efforts been to try and track him down? What attempts have you made? Have you been able to contact his family um, or have you maybe been to his house? No, I haven't been to his house. I haven't been there, but we have phoned him on a number of occasions, and we have tried to find out where he is, so that he, to find out whether he's coming back or not, and to see whether we can replace him. And we're going to have to have a disciplinary without him here, because that's the normal way of doing it. But it's a pity. He was a good act. Yeah. Any last words for Brighton? Maybe just a plea to maybe come back to work? Yeah, come back to work, Brighton. You're a good guy.